What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Blue Heart Alpha, kind of coming to you all with another celebrity reading. This one's going to be over our, our good brother, Kevin Hart, our good cancer brother. Now, I fuck with Kevin Hart, but in the case of Kevin versus Cat, I'm going to have to go with Cat Williams, and here's why. There's an other side of Kevin that he does not want us to see, his egotistical side. I mean, he's trying to work on that and trying to kill his ego, but his ego is very much at play when it comes to Cat Williams. Um... Once upon a time, Kevin did want to work with Cat. I don't know what truly happened. There was the three of coins, and then there's the five of wands showing up. The five of wands shows at some point they got into it. Um, let me just answer this. Do I think that Kevin Hart is an industry plant? No. No, I don't. But he may be a little bit of a rat. And I say this because while he was saying he wanted to work with Cat, he bought into the idea that they presented in front of him that he was greater than Cat, and Cat was not on his level. And then there's the things of, you know, Cat coming out, <clears throat> speaking on the shit that these comedians have gathered together and did to him. They basically ostracized him. Kevin is worried about his skeleton not only falling out of the closet, but he's worried about Cat embarrassing him as a um, comedian. Now, he's not worried necessarily about those, those skeletons, what he's worried about is his abilities as a comedian and to be able to hold his audience because the shit that Cat has said has gotten a lot of people to question and doubt these guys. Like, yo, are y'all really that funny? Kevin is going to have to prove himself. And with the Five of Cups, Nine of Swords and the Star card showing up, I don't know if he's ready to do that or even if he's like got the energy to entertain it. He's like, yo, would this dude just go the fuck away? Now... He doesn't necessarily want anything to happen to Cat. Let me make that clear. But he just wishes that um, there was a better way that they could put to bed this beef or this burden of this beef that they have. The uh, way they can put the beef away is that Kevin's ego has to go away. Kevin has not quite figured that out yet because, again, he's one of the tops. He's one of the um, people who has been chosen to sit at the top. And he knows that this is a unfair power structure in comedy. Like the shit is happening in comedy. We think it's just hip hop, but it's not. He knows that he's not as funny as Cat. He knows that with the Six of Pentacles being in reverse, he knows that he doesn't give what Cat gives. But because he is favored amongst the gatekeepers, he knows that he'll be the one that's favored in the situation. So unfortunately... If he's given a choice, he's going to choose self-preservation, ladies and gentlemen. Um, with the uh, Pisces energy showing up on the moon card with the three of swords, he shit, he's in his feelings. He's in deep introspective thought on how he could possibly hurt Cat's career or what 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 Cat is calling his career. Like he don't want him to have shit. It's not good enough that. Not a lot of people fuck with Cat. Kevin doesn't like the fact that some of them gatekeepers still fuck with Cat. I don't know which one of them or some of them it is, but some of them still fuck with Cat. And a lot of them don't want to say nothing or have nothing to do with the beef between the two of them because they feel like this ain't our scene. This ain't for us. They don't want to choose a side. Kevin doesn't like that with that Nine of Pentacles showing up. He's like... I've given y'all so much. You know, you think about his history, the things that he's done to get where he's going or where he's gotten to in the industry, the things that he's allowed them to pander to him with, the things that he's allowed himself to assume an effeminate role for, to be <clears throat> accepted amongst the comedic greats and the Hollywood greats. He knows that he's done certain things. He feels like Cat is too erratic to play the game. This is why he doesn't want to work with him. And like I said, he doesn't want to see him dead, but he wants to see this beef between the two of them end and not necessarily peaceful. So like I said, Kevin might be a little bit of a rat. He's running in between people, you know, those folks that favor him. And being that Cat does have this history of wilding the fuck out on people, you know, they're going to go with Kevin because he's more approachable. He's the household name. He's the one that is more malleable. And I want y'all to remember that they go after these malleable niggas that they can mold into what they need them to be. 
Kevin is willing to play ball because he likes the help that he's receiving from them. And he knows that the help that he receives from Cat being ostracized will help his career. He knows that with that title card showing up, he has a little bit of power and a little bit of leeway. He can destroy Cat if he wants to. Not because he's funnier than Cat, not because his career is any greater than Cat, but because, again, he has favor amongst those that do not like Cat. And being that Kevin is a cancer, y'all know he's emotional behind the scenes. You know, he's going to fuck off, talking all kinds of shit. I don't give a fuck what you motherfuckers got to do with the nigga. You know, he cutting up. He cutting up. He want that nigga gone. Okay? Not like dead, but he like, yo, I'm willing to make a choice for the dark side, if you will, and put some energy into shit, paying a witch or throwing a spell his way or throwing some bad energy his way. So that he can go away. Kevin is willing to go this route because nothing else has worked. Like I said, nothing has worked and stuck on Cat. So they have to try everything that they can. But in the end, like, yo, that that um that that hole he digging for Cat might be for him. But it ain't gonna be for that long. Like I said, y'all, that tower card showing up with the um six of wands and the strength card. Kevin will get out of it because he has the most favor amongst the um, gatekeepers of, of comedy. He even has some leeway in hip hop, so he can close some doors that way, too. He is the one that has the strongest relationship with people. Um, Kevin is the one who, <clears throat> again, has that family household name. He's the one that will go along to get along. He's the one that knows how to... Um, play the game or the one that is willing to play the game. Cat is not willing to play that same game. Um, the worse he does to Cat Williams, they're willing to, you know, give him stronger opportunities and open more doors. And what the hell do y'all think he's going to do? He's going to go with the money. He's going to go with who, with those who can promise him something greater than a beef or a continued beef with Cat Williams will promise him. So, of course, he's going to try his best to tear Cat down. But I've already told y'all that's not going to happen. Um, Kevin is going to end up opening the door up on some bullshit with his family. And it's not going to destroy his career, but it's going to show us that darker side of him. It's going to show us that he, too, has the potential to dance with the devil. No matter how positive he's speaking, he has the power or he has the ability to shape shift. And be amongst the snakes, if you will. And before y'all like, oh, snakes mean good luck in witchcraft. Let me finish. Not in this brand of witchcraft that these folks are doing. This mind magic, this sex magic, this shit that they are using to destroy people is what they are using. This is the magic they're using. And poor Kevin is getting in the bed with this shit. And he gonna open the door on his own Pandora's box, y'all. Stay tuned.